There is a new AI image generation tool that has the capacity to create images suitable for different use case scenarios from logos to stickers to animation characters and so much more. The interesting part is that this tool is currently free and can be used for commercial purposes. There is a buzz out there that this tool is better than me, Johnny. We'll find out in this video. This AI tool is called Flux Word. But before we dive into testing this tool, there are a couple of information you need to know about. This AI tool is created by a company known as Black Forest Labs. They currently offer three major variations or variants of their models for image generation. The first variant is called Chanel. This is the lowest model they have and this can only be used for personal purposes you could assess this model through different sources note this website don't have the capacity yet to host generation of the images so you have to use a third party tool looking at the bottom here you could see three four different options where you could assess this particular model the first one is hugging face once you click on hugging face you could sign up for free and then from here you could generate your image one after the other these other three options that are available you can also use them but these are paid options and i will show you shortly how you could access this for free the next level of the model is called dev this is majorly for developers and also this is for non-commercial application and these are the options of where you could assess it as well the last model they have which is the best model for now for generating very high quality images is the flux one pro and this you could assess it from these three websites as well but i'm going to show you where to assess flux pro for entirely free the website that you can assess the flux pro known as glyph glyph is a website that allows you create your own workflow and gives you access to different models i've gone ahead to create a workflow already for myself and created a space where you can easily type in the prompt and then go ahead to generate your images i believe in the link to this glyph down below you could also come in here and test out the different images as you did fit something to note is currently for each account it has a daily limit of 20 generations initially it was limit less than 100 then right now it's 20 Let's take advantage of this before italy becomes we'll be testing out couple of use case scenarios and the first one i'll be testing out would be of the use case of generating a coloring book just come in here and type in your prompt and i've written out the prompt that i want click on run this glyph and it's going to go ahead to run the glyph and generate the image for you this is the image that he generated as you can see he gave a very clear outline even though there's a bit of color here and when it you compare this image to me journey this is basic but this is good at least i can't see any shading there's some black here but you could try to modify the prompts like any other image generator you have to generate the images a couple of times before you get what you are looking for if you're satisfied with this result you can easily just click here on the download button and it downloads to your computer for images you generated using um, an AI image generator, you would have to upscale. This doesn't have the capacity to upscale yet. You could also roll another one just to see if it's going to give you something better than what you have before. This looks really good. You can easily just use this as it is, just upscale it and use it for your coloring books. The next use case scenario that I would like to test would be to create pod designs so imagine if you want to create a design you want to put on a shirt i have already created a prompt that i want to test post that prompt here i would like to create like a ghost t-shirt design because right now people are preparing uh, for halloween and people are creating designs for their print on demand products go ahead and click on run this cliff and then we would see what the results will look like this is not bad at all the image seemed quite good okay we could run another one just to see what the result will look like but this particular one you could see that how coercive everything looks like this looks good this is the second variation 
based on my preference i prefer this variation it looks way better the next thing that we are going to test would be to generate an image specifically for stickers we still use the halloween theme just to see how it deals with text because this particular model can create captivating text properly compared to mid journey i think this is one of the things that stands out when it comes to this particular tool let's run this this is the sticker design he created and as you can see that it, it put in the text properly the boot season and something else i was trying to note when i was testing this as well would be the hands as you can see the hands are quite good a couple of plus when it comes to flux one compared to the first generation of other ai tools when they came out the next use case scenario i'll be testing this on would be the use case of creating characters on this channel we create animation characters sometimes that we use for our faceless youtube channel let's see if we'll be able to create a character that is pixar style I'm going to create a young shepherd with a coily hair and i'm going to be using the pixar animation style for this to see what it's going to generate note that at the moment you can only create single images you can't create consistent characters through here if you need to create consistent characters you might have to use some other image generation tool like me journey or dal e to create those images but we're just testing this to see how close it's going to generate this image when it comes to pixel style animation images this this looks really good right from the get-go let me just run this one more time this is not bad as well let me show you other pixel related images that i generated earlier just to see how it looks like you can see this this is one of the ones i generated this looks really good as well try out a couple of prompts multiple times until you get what you're looking for next use case scenario which i'll be testing would be if we want to create a logo it's very good like we have seen when it comes to text let's just try and see if we could create a logo for a music studio called the zini studio i've put in the prompt and click on run and by the way if you want to have access to all those prompts i'm using once you come into the glyph and you want to use this you can always copy the prompts i use here to modify it to create your own right from the bat this is what it created you could make a couple of modifications till you get what you are looking for what i've noticed is the fewer text the fewer details in your images so you would have to decide exactly what you want your logo or the image to look like and describe it as detailed as possible this is another one you created i kind of prefer this but this is not bad as well the last um, use case scenario i'll be testing this on would be if you want to create realistic images let's create a bowl of spaghetti and i'll just click on run and let's see how realistic this image is going to look like it looks really good although if you look very closely you can tell that is ai generated but we, we could test this more to see but just from a first glance you could see how realistic this image looks like let's something else like a bowl of salad we'll just make it cucumber salad just to be more specific it just gave us a bowl of cucumber obviously you have to be more descriptive of what else you want to see within the bowl to have a more uh, detailed image but this looks pretty good you can't really tell for this if it's ai generated but this looks good all right now that we have tested different use case scenarios you might want to have a private glyph where you could test your own images that you don't want anybody to see i will quickly show you how to create your own glyph to do that you could just come in here and click on build it's going to come bring you to this empty page and you could go ahead and name your glyph you could name it anything that you like you could just say test for example with a description if you want and the next thing is to add glyph blocks the first thing you do you click on the add block and the first option we're going to do is we want to add the text before the image is generated click on text here you could change the name to like a prompt or here you could type in and say impute 
front once you have this the next thing would be to add another block because once you type in the prompt it needs to generate the image you click the plus add block again and then we'll be adding an image generator once you click on image generator it's going to ask you we want this let's delete this we want this underneath add here image generator then here you want to choose the model you, you would use to create the image you can click on the drop down here as you can see you could see dal e you could see some other ones stable diffusion you could see flux pro dev and chanel you just want to use the pro select pro and then you could choose the size of images you want the glitch to generate would it be one on one hd would it be nine by 16 or 16 by nine so i'll just use the square hd and then click on close one more thing that you need to pay attention to before we close this would be describe the image here you need to add the variable the variable is the text coming from here you could click on this button and this variable is then added anytime you type in your prompt here it knows to run the image and generate let's go ahead and test it out for example here we have a bowl of spaghetti we're going to use that same example and click on run this glyph and then what it's going to do it's it's going to impute the text into this box then go ahead to generate this image using flux pro if that's what you set it as this is done this looks good you can see this is just your testing area and once you are good with this particular glyph you could go ahead to publish it and don't share it you have your own glyph to generate the image with my opinion flux one stands out when you are creating images that have text when you compare to other image generation tools out there in regards to creating other images i would say that it's doing a fair job right now but it has a long way to come when you compare with me journey when we talk about me journey when we compare things like creating consistent characters creating consistent aesthetics and so much more but for a, a free tool at the moment is doing a great job so test this tool out let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the tool thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one